Hello EPCGA, it's Cliff Mansley here in Joplin with New Creation Church in the wake of an F5 uh, tornado. Uh, we are grateful for your partnership in the gospel and so many churches have been, been helpful sending in teams, sending supplies, sending money. We want to say thank you for all you've done. This has been a very uh, intense, uh, challenging time. Uh, many people are still grieving the loss of loved ones. Many are still in shock of the loss of, uh, of property and uh, uh, schools and churches across our community. This is the largest uh, tornado that has hit our nation since 1950. I've been told that an F5 tornado has the power of an A-bomb, it just doesn't have the same radiation. Here at New Creation, we are set up to do uh, distribution, ceiling to floor. We've got 24,000 square feet. We, uh, we have uh, anywhere from uh, 50 to 120 folks staying here at night. Uh, we've, uh, we've actually had to hire staff, extra staff, to help us with this emergency situation. Uh, we serve three meals a day. Uh, we are at it for as long as it's going to take. And we sure appreciate everything that you've done to help us out. We're going to show you a little bit of the scenery of what's uh, left after uh, uh, a few weeks of cleanup. We're standing here in front of the Cross of St. Mary's. This is probably the most prominent uh, picture in all of Joplin right now. For six miles, uh, we have an expanse, six miles in, in length and one mile in depth. We have complete destruction all around us. And yet we have this one symbol of hope that stands above all of this. Thousands and thousands of homes have been lost. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of businesses gone. Not far from here, an entire hospital complex, medical complex has been wiped away but the cross still stands. This cross stands as a symbol of hope in Joplin, and it stands as a symbol of hope wherever we are across the globe. It's a great, a great uh, sign to all of us. We're here in the sanctuary of New Creation Church, and you can see behind me the cross that one of our construction crews put together. Uh, when I first saw it about uh, four days into this crisis, I just fell on my knees and wept. This has been a, a very emotional time for people in our community, people at New Creation Church. I know that uh, we knew it, between 60 and 80 people who, uh, who died in, in uh, the tornado. Uh, we had grandparents lost, lose grandchildren, friends lose friends, uh, parents lose children, you name it. We had all kinds of different relationships that were lost. The devastation is great, but our faith is strong. In some ways, you know, what can prepare you for something like this? The only thing that, can, that I can think of is the good Lord. He's not a thing, he's a person. He's very real and alive in the creation church. And we can see that every day when we see relief crews coming in and out. Many churches have closed their doors to relief crews at this point. We're keeping our doors open as far as the eye can see. We're going to be uh, taking teams to come and do VBSs as well, vacation Bible schools, and uh, to do block parties, as well as to get out of the wreckage and also to help us rebuild. We're going to be at this for some time. We appreciate your prayers and your partnership in the gospel. Uh, we've been through a lot. Many of us are battle weary, uh, very tired. Uh, I know I haven't uh, slept more than a few hours each night since this thing hit. But by God's gracious hands, and we've seen people's lives transformed. Not just people coming and looking for help, physical help, assistance, but uh, we've, we've seen people who have landed on our doorstep, who've never met Christ before. They've come here uh, looking for aid or, or looking to help. And here in this community, this, this wonderful community called Cre New Creation Church, and, uh, and of course it expands beyond that to the whole nation with all the different guests that we've had in and out of here. They're finding Jesus. It's a great thing. Thanks again for your kindness and for your prayers. We appreciate you. We love you. And we deeply uh, are, are gratified by the partnership that we have with the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. God bless you all.